Gracias. Hi guys, welcome back to the ZZ Mill Show. I've had one of the biggest dancehall artists come on the show. So it's only right that I have one of the biggest Afrobeats artists coming on the show. And I'm so happy. It's a lovely lady, it's a woman in the house. How are you? Good, how are you? Tenny. <laughs> I feel like you're calm. We were just talking before we started and you're so calm, so chilled. Yeah. yeah. I can be crazy too. I know, I see on social media. It just depends on what I'm talking about. I see, I see on social media that you can, you, you give it, you give a bit of... I don't uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like me though. Everyone always thinks I'm like hyper all the time. When people meet me, they're like, Oh my god, you're not am I supposed to be shouting? Yeah, I, that's what all people gonna say to me, oh my god, so like in person, you're just really chill and you're not like giving your opinion. I'm thinking, so when you see me, do you expect me to just come up to you and be like, by the way, these red glasses that you're wearing, they would look better if they was in black, but maybe like what do you what do you but want? But do you from really me? think it would look better if it was in black? No, 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 I like the red. I like it. I like I'm How do you like my outfit? I think it's yes, I like yes, yes, nice. Size me. Yeah, it's good. I'm liking the I'm liking the red waistcoat with the red fine girl. This sugar mama. Sugar mummy. Sugar mummy. Yes. Tell me, I need to know, yeah. How do I join the sugar mummy club? Like, what criteria do I need to tick so that I'm I'm in the club? Because I feel like I have the attributes. Swag. Okay. You have to have swag. You have to have steez. What are you? I mean, I'm not swagged out today, but. We'll teach you. We're, uh, we're, we're accepting. Okay, cool. We just need passion. We just need people that are super fans. Then I'm a part of it? Yes. Okay, cool. But what if I want to be like an actual... Gang gang. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk, that, we'll talk about that outside camera. Okay, cool. I understand. <laughs> if you see me, I'm, the next thing you know, you're going to see my caption on, on, on Twitter. You know in Instagram and people like join like movements and they'll be like, hashtag something, something. That's what it's going to be. That'll be mad. You'll see. That's like, imagine, just start a whole movement. Because I think we have the same energy, honestly. Thank you so much for coming. What, how come you're in London? Like, what's, what's happening in London? What you, I know you had, you had a show, right? Well, no, not this time, but I do have a show. Okay, right. right. So but so my you? guy, three, I was headed to Jamaica and my guy was just like, come to London. Okay. I was like, I only have two days and he was like, just come out here, man. Okay. And I've done so much in the last <laughs> 24 hours I've been here. So you, how, you like Jamaica? I'm Jamaican. Well, my family's from Jamaica. I love Jamaica. I didn't even know you were Jamaican. Oh, yeah, I'm Jamaican. I feel... I love that place so much. Do you know what? I've heard a lot of people like... Um, have said that recently about Jamaica, like when they go there, the energy is just different. Because I think that our forefather spirit lies in that place as well. Right, okay. I promise you, it's, it's just, there's just a way it makes you feel like, it makes you feel rooted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, as a Jamaican, I feel so embarrassed. The last time I went to Jamaica was maybe when I was like 12. Okay, I'm now 32. Okay, I shouldn't even say this to the camera, I'm gonna get ripped. Um, I know, look, I know, I know. I haven't been, but you know what? When you're younger and you go to Jamaica, yeah, as a child, you don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate that. Because you you're can caged. Run, yeah, and you feel like you wanna to go to somewhere where you can run around and there's excitement, there's rides. But when you get older, the, fi the, the feeling of just being able to sit down and chill, you, you want that in life, especially kind of in the world that we live in. It's, it's, um, it's needed. Do you get what I'm saying? So how do you like the UK? How do you like London? What do you think of our, um, our Afrobeat scene at the moment? I think the UK is going to do it. You think so? Oh, yes. Really? 1,000%. Come on. Before America, what does America know? Before America started fucking with Afrobeat. Yeah, we did, yeah. Do you remember Fizz, ODG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the band? Yeah, yeah, Oliver yeah. Oliver Twist? True, true, true. Do you know that 4 was big here before it David was four. Yeah, yeah. Before he went to America. It's true. UK has done it and they're still going to keep doing it. Do you think the UK have been the ones that have propelled Afrobeats? Do I yeah, think? Mostly. What do you think? Do you know what? Now you said it, um, outside of where it comes from, yeah, I would say that we have been the driver. Even on. the fact that now that we have Afrobeats charts and all those type of things, I think it's really. Um, 
I think it's amazing. But obviously, um, since you're here, I want to get your thoughts on this because obviously everyone's been talking about it online today. There's been like mixed reviews. I know what you're about to ask me. About what? Go on. Justin Bieber. Yes. I want to know. I, I want to know. I want to know because what's your opinion? Go on, tell me. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I really, really. Come on, it's Justin Bieber. That's Let's not forget, business-wise, outreach-wise, we've been crying. We want the world to hear us. We want people to yeah. appreciate us. Now you have Justin B, Justin Bieber. That if he goes to Australia, they'll go crazy. Yeah. If he goes to Japan, they'll go crazy. If Justin Bieber goes to India, Cambodia, they'll go mad. Yeah. Now you have that kind of guy. Saying thank you, Whiskey. Thank you, Thames, for putting me on your song. He's thanking them. Right. You you see what he said? He said, Thank you for putting me on the song of the summer. That's big for the culture. Do you think sometimes we complain just to complain? That's who we are. <laughs> but no, you can't focus on noise. That's a Whiz, that's a smart man. Yeah. It's true, it's true, we, we always say. But I think what the thing is, people always have this thing of like, when it's somebody white, they, it's like, they just be like, oh, it's too... Well, guess what though, we're trying to eradicate racism and say we are one. Mm. So if we're trying to eradicate racism and say we are one, why should you be mad that we skid put Justin Bieber? Aren't we all the same? Mm. Is it not just the tone that's different? Is it, we have the same blood running through our veins, right? They don't have three noses, they have just one, just like us, two eyes. We're the same people. We just have different experiences and different cultures. And that's what makes us human. And mm -hmm. that's what makes us unique. So why is that a problem? True. If Afrobeat can break into Australia because of Justin Bieber, that's beautiful. Because then everyone else gets then to come. Then, boom, I'm going to get a booking from Australia. Can I get 10 in? Because guess what? When you know whiskey, if you keep listening, it will show you on Apple Music or Spotify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you see other people. My name will show up one way or the other. So it's a big win for everybody. When would you say, when did you realise, like, I'm a big deal? This is actually happening for me now. Because you've always done music from when you've been young. Right. So it's not something new. Um, but do you think that people are aware of that, that, you've been doing, that you have been doing this for, for, for a while? Not yet. You don't think so? I don't even think I've gotten anywhere. I won't even scratch the surface. You've got like over 4 million followers. The, uh, people have 200 million. Yeah, but still... Uh, I'm grateful for it, but I'm, trust me, you're going to see. So you... you, you, you My don't... talent is too phenomenal for no. 4 million. So I'm not accepting it. We love the energy. I'm, I'm just saying... I, I think I'm too amazing to be on 4 million. So I need to be on 200 million. So when do you, so when, but there must have been moments, because I would say that social media has been quite a big part of your, of your career and propelling you out there, catapulting you out there. But when did you say, when did you think, oh, okay. And was it, did you, do you feel like it came quickly and then to try and maintain it? Was, was there that feeling of, okay, how do I maintain this? You know, uh, a few of my freestyles have gone viral. How do I maintain it? Was there that anxiousness? Or you just, because you seem quite calm. Like you just go with whatever's happening and you kind of sit I in it always, and just. I just always go with the flow. But I realized, and I studied great people, they don't go with the flow. Okay. They don't only go with the flow. So great people, creatives like me, we just go with the flow. Yeah. But if you look at artists that have broken world records, they have people that are strategic behind them. So to make the pure music, you have to keep yourself open. Mm. But now to get to where you want to get to, you have to have people behind helping you push that shit like a motherfucker. Yeah. So me, I don't want to lose myself. The people behind me, do your work, but I'm going to do the music. I'm right. going to yearn, I'm going to, because I want to die empty. Like when I die, I just want to make sure I sang everything God gave me. Like I've, I've used everything, there's nothing left. 
But that's what I was saying to you earlier before we started filming about like your tonality. It sounds, because before we started talking, we were talking about TikTok and I was saying that there's a song out at the moment that I've listened to, but it's only one minute and 42 minutes. So we were saying people, artists, do they feel like now they have to make songs for TikTok? But you were saying that's not you and you don't, but I was saying I hear that in your voice, like what you just said now about wanting to die empty. So like every time you sing, it's like you're pouring something, oh, yes. pouring something out of you, whether it's like joy or pain. Like I was listening to Hustle the other day and it's very, it was like, oh, this is, you know, that feeling of people just don't understand Hustle, you. Big shout out to producer named Fields. He produced it right. and he also co-wrote co -wrote it. He, right. wrote, he actually wrote the most of that song. Mm -hmm. So big ups Fields. And when he played that song for me, it wasn't finished. I added some things to the song as well. Yeah. When he played it for me, I said, this is what I'm going through right now. And I sang it. I meant it. Yeah, it, feel, it sounded it like it felt like that. It came from a place where, that was where I was in the moment. Mm. Like, you know, people don't understand. Like, people you went to school with, you don't have time anymore. Your schedule's crazy. You're in like four different countries in 10 days. Mm. It's very crazy. And people just don't understand that you're human. Yeah. And so when I deliver that song, you can hear the pain from it. Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. Because I think on social media, because you come across quite joyful uh, and funny. I am joyful. Yeah, but you know what you're saying? I think when people see that all the time, they don't realise that, like you said, I'm a human. And sometimes I'm going to have off days. And sometimes I'm not going to be up for it. Sometimes I don't want to be like, uh, in your face. But it's, it's as if people don't see you as human anymore when you get to a certain level or like I went out the other day and I was just with my friends and I was having fun and some girl came up to me she's like hi ZZ and I was just like oh hi you're right she's like oh my god where's your energy give me your energy and I was just like whoa like you're just trying to have a good time yeah I just want to have a good time and it was just weird but I just thought somebody on your level that must be so over does it ever get overwhelming for you or it's a balance mm. I don't ever want to lose myself yeah 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 you know you see myself I'm more pricey than any dollar bill. You can't make me. If, 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 go make Tenny right now. Yeah. See if it's easy to make Tenny. Have you always been this confident? Oh, yes. Come on. <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> but if, if you look at me, if you know me, to know me, to hang out with me is to know that I was specially created by God for this. Right, okay. I was ordained by God to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I was young, it's always been music. Have you, be, obviously, been a woman in this industry? And also, I've watched a few of your um, few interviews where you said that how you present has, like, women are supposed think they're supposed to look this type of way or be this type of way. Was it a conscious effort to be like, I'm going against the grain, I'm not going to... Or did you ever feel, have you ever felt, OK, things are not working, I might have to change the way I dress or the way I look? Have you ever felt like that? Never. I will never do anything to please anybody. I will always do things to please myself, though. Yeah. Because I, mean, I can't please, out of 100%, I'll never be able to please 50%. Mm. That's a big margin. I might as well just please myself, and whoever fucks with it, fucks with it. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. Mm. As long as I'm not being negative. And I'm not harming anybody. Mm. Now, I'm not saying I don't listen to correction. I'm not perfect. But I do things my way, mm. on my time, at my own discretion. Do you think that's what connects w with um, women to you? That feeling of, like, you're just yourself. You're not succumbing. Because like, I feel like women are so sexualized these days. Like, mm -hmm. everything is to do with the body, like, how you look, what you are offering, do you get what I mean? And not to do with who they are inside or what the values or the morals that they have. But I do feel like the music industry makes women feel like they have to be like that. Do you feel that, because you say that at the beginning, you feel you're worth more than the 4.2 million followers. Do you feel sometimes if I maybe looked like this or I wore, I wore this, people would, I would be bigger? You know why I'm not bigger yet? Why? It's not time. Okay. It's coming. But I don't, the, I don't agree with that, by the way, about you, know, about you it's not time. being a... It's time, but it's coming. Everything happens at the right time. When you're focused and when you know where you're going, 
it's gonna happen. It's thunder must strike. If I say, I'm, that's where I'm going to go to, that's my destination, and I keep walking, and I break my leg, I rest a little, but I get up. It might look like I'm slow, but am I walking? If I keep going, am I going to get there? I'm going to get there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just tell me. As long as I don't stop, you have to keep going. I'm going to get what I want. How do you? You have to pay me to get that information. <laughs> no, but the wisdom, the wisdom coming out is mad. It's like you're old. I, I think I know you're. I'm definitely you're older than you. So in my twenties. Yeah, yeah. That's but. How though? Why? How? How do? How are you so grounded? And how? Have you, do you have this thought process? Because it's very hard for people not to get lost in everything that's happening around them and the people and everyone loving them and going out. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're the best. How are you not getting, do you not get lost in it? Death. Death? Yeah. Explain. Death humbles you. The, the thought of it or people? The whole concept of death, it humbles you. Death is where you see a rich man buried. Maybe in ground style, but the same way they put a poor man in the ground and cover him with dust. Yeah. It's the same way they put a rich man, maybe with a better casket, <laughs> in the ground and bury him. Yeah. When you realize that one day you're going to die, eh? Mm -hmm. You become conscious of your purpose here. And you remember life is like a switch. It could all end at any given moment. Mm. So what are you doing right now? How are you living your life? How do you want to be remembered? What do you want to be remembered for? When people listen to you, when they watch your videos, when they watch your interviews in the next 30 years, can they still grab something that will give them hope? Because you being a star means you're a light. You shine bright. Mm -mm -mm. It means that people that are dark, or that don't have the light that you have, seek you for light. Right. So you have to always cleanse yourself because you don't want to mislead people. You, I never want to mislead anybody. Right, right, yeah. So I'm always doing my research. I'm always staying grounded. I'm always staying prayed up. I'm always asking God, God, you created the heavens and earth, and I've heard that when people want to reach the highest peak, they have to sell their souls. I'm never going to sell mine. You know what selling your soul is? Let me tell you what it is. Go on. It doesn't mean I call the devil and say, how much you want to buy my soul for? Yeah. <laughs> and he says a million dollars and he gives me a million dollars. It's losing your humanity and losing your conscience. That's selling your soul. I feel like everyone should click for that. It's true, you know, because people always think they, oh, yeah. they think when you do like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. No. I've literally got a picture of my, my profile picture on Insta, I think I'm doing this. And someone literally said that I've sold my soul to the devil. I'm like, well, because I've done a picture like this, what the hell's going on? Yeah. It's weird. Yes, your conscience and your humanity to look at that man behind the camera and say, I'm going to step on him to get to where I'm going. I feel like people are going to take loads of gems from this interview, like there'll be loads of takeout bits. Well, what was the bit that you said before at the beginning? You said, I'm too stoked to have 4.2 million. I just, yeah. I feel like I'm, that's going to be my next caption. I mean, but, but obviously I'm I don't have 4.2 million followers, but yeah, cool. I'll have to do it tomorrow. I mean, you should be in the studio with me to see. Do you know what? I, do you know, I, you did say, look, yeah, he said, I should come and see. Yeah. What's your process for making a song? How does it work? I can make a song right now. Yeah, go on then. Play me a beat. Make a, okay, cool. You can't stop me. Cause I'm in my da fucking moving train. Oh, you can never see me coming. Uh, I'm in my da fucking moving train. Uh, hey! Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't and even I look so fly. Hey! Uh, so good. Uh, everybody say hi. Hi. Uh, I feel good. Good. And I'm drinking my water. Hey! It's almost finished. Can I get some more? <laughs> <laughs>
my God, we just got a freestyle. Yes. We just got a freestyle. So, your sister, I don't want to say her, I don't want to say her name wrong, so. Niniola. 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 No, I'm saying it right, you just want me to sing no, it. No, that's her name, Niniola. Niniola. Did I'll, I get it right? I'll give you that. Oh, Christ. I'll you said Niniola. Okay. No, Niniola. Niniola. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> thank you. I have to thank you. In her own right as well, she's a huge singer. She's doing really... Do you ever, have you ever felt the pressure? Because she's obviously huge, big. Have you ever felt the, the pressure of being her younger sister? Never. Do you ever feel the pressure about anything? Because I'm not in competition with anybody, I'm just living my life. When I like Googled you today, they refer to you, her as your younger sister. Now, does that ever feel, do you ever feel as if I'm my own entity? Like you said, because I'm my own person, she's her own person. But I'm her younger sister. It's the truth, it's not a lie. True. What, am I supposed to say she's my cousin? She's no, my but you get, what, you get what I mean. I don't, maybe because I don't have any, well I do, but I've never, they're not in the same field as me, so it's different. I pick my sister any day, any time, over this shit. Mm -hmm. Family, blood, especially good ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's something that you have even when the music is over. Right. When the curtains fade and when the lights go down. Yeah. You always have your family. So I, I know how to separate Family from, this shit is all fucking glitters, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is gold <laughs> to me. So what's the, what's the love life saying? My love life? Yeah, what's it saying? Sips water, slowly, <laughs> insert. <laughs> so because my life is so public. Right. I like to keep my love life on the low. Right. Is that difficult though? At all. Nobody knows who I'm dating. And if they do, that's their business. So you are dating? Yes, I'm dating. Okay. I kind of want to know, like, what type of lover are you? I mean, I feel like this is not, this is not like weird talk for you because on your social, you're quite, you do say you are quite, I would say you're quite sexual. You say, you know, you make little sexual jokes here and there. So I don't feel like this so is taboo you, for you. What kind of lover do you think I am? Oh, the glasses are coming off. We're getting into the thick of things right now. I just want now. you to look at me and tell We're me. Getting into what kind of lover do you think I am? I feel like you're gentle, gentle lover, compassionate. Yes. Like you're, you care. Like when you care for somebody, you care for them. You give them your all. And I feel like, see, thank you. Appreciate it, yes. see? I feel like that's what you, that's the type of, um, like when you get in deep, you get in deep. Oh yes. So you don't get too deep. Quickly. I get, I get as deep as, as, as I can. I don't think, I just met three, like it's not up to a month. And it feels like he's my brother already. Right, right. I don't believe in all that peace that they, they I know people I've known for years and they've done me bad. Yeah, and yeah, I know yeah. people I've met in one day and they've done me more good than people I've known for years. Mm -hmm. And I've known people for two days and they've done me bad too. I think it's energy. Energy. I just move with the energy. I don't. I never stop myself. If I feel it, I go in. If I get hurt, I'm human. Right, right, right. I'll write a song about it, and I'll go number one. Energy. Energy. Yeah. I feel like you should do a freestyle about um, heartbreak. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. I called your phone. Where were you? Where were you? You didn't pick up. I called to say hello. Where were you? Where were you? You didn't show up. So tell me now. Do you still love me? Do you still love me? Oh no. I want to know. If you give me a beat, I'll make a song now. Listen, <laughs> we, don't, we don't need, we just need a cappella. That's it. <laughs> this is such a corny question, yeah, but I always wonder, when did you realise, oh, I actually can sing? Like, I'm a, I can sing, I can hit all these different notes. Also that my voice is unique. Do you know what I mean? Your voice is not like 
a lot of people's voice. It is very unique, very unique tonality. Do you know what I mean? Um, I like that raspy type of tone. I, I like singers where I feel like any moment you could break a note, like it could happen, but somehow you maintain it and it sounds like raw and authentic. Do you get what I mean? So I would, obviously Beyonce is an amazing singer, but I, w I like Lauren Hill's tonality. Do you get what I mean? Because Rihanna. Re well, I don't know about. I love Rihanna. You, you, like, you really like her tone? Like mad. Really? Ah. Hey. Sex with me, so amazing. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never... See I'm, how Rihanna sang that song? Now some singers will go, Sex with me, so amazing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Nobody would have... This is actually when they're having sex. Look, look how she just... Sex with me, so amazing. True. It just... It's just like, yeah. I'm dope. So talk to me about the um, album Wonderland. Like, how, what was the process? How... How how many songs did you not put on the album? Uh, I feel like you probably didn't put like three thirty five songs that had not made the album. So it talks talk to me about it. So because I record every day, like making music for me is like drinking water. It's like I must make music, right? Because I I feel like I paint a picture. It's just fun mm -hmm. to start saying something and then you tell a story. Yeah, and it becomes a song. Like I was with them yesterday. And in the span of like two hours, I made like three jams or like, yeah, banging jams. Because it's just fun to me to just hear a beat. Right, right. And then piece something and say something on it and it means something. Yeah. And somebody somewhere will like tell me, damn, I cried to this song or mm. I made love to this song or, you know, it's just, it's just interesting to me. So then how do you decide which ones go on the album and which ones come down? Listen, man, that was my team. So you don't have that, that apart, wait, so you I kind do, of, okay. I do, but I'm very sentimental with music. Okay, right. So, like, Case, I hated Case so much. No I fucking way. hated yeah. that song, I swear. I, listen, man, they told me, drop that song. I said, who's, who's going to sing for your case, yo? For your case, yo. Cheesy ass shit. <laughs> Do you know what? I was literally just going to ask you after if there's any songs where you'll be like, absolutely no Kiss. way. Kiss. Really? Yo, I dropped Kiss and the next week I went to perform. No, what am I saying? I dropped Kiss. The day I dropped Kiss, I landed in London. I right. had a show the next day. They were singing Kiss already. That's how I knew the song was not normal. <laughs> and I knew people were not normal too because I was like, yeah. who the fuck is going to say, I miss you? <laughs> I was even thinking, what was I thinking when I wrote that song? <laughs> I was thinking about something, but I was shit. Oh, go on. You said it now. You have, you have to finish it. You can't just start and then leave me on the cliff or leave the audience on the cliff. It's not for them to know, not yet. I'll but, tell you though, of course. Okay. I feel like I'm getting loads of that. I'm going to hear exclusive music. I'm going to know why. But then it was huge. Yes. And so it taught me something about music making. Go on. People are sad. It's just the world. It's just the world that we're in. Social media has made it worse. And so you mean sad in like emotion? Yes. Okay. People are in their feelings My all the time. It's human beings. We're always going to be in our feelings. Someone's going to break up with you. Someone's going to steal your babe. Someone's going to do something to you. Yeah. You, you, you cannot run away from feeling damp. And you can also not run away from feeling happy, right? But people feed on negativity, which means that some people I've noticed just like to be sad. I promise you is a huge percentage of the people in the world. Yeah. So I learned that with that comes a short attention span. When you're making music, nobody wants to fucking sing a song that's like, you are going to be the one in my life until two years time, three years time. It's like people, I don't even know how to make difficult music. Straight to the point. Something people can remember. Yeah. Kay stop me that. There's, the, the, the technique is in the simplicity. And as simple as simplicity is, 
it's the most difficult thing to attain when making music. So that's what I was going to say. So after that, you realise that when you write songs now, do you have that in the back of your head unconsciously? No. You must do, though, because you know that it's simply... You, if you know that something is a formula, then you're going to keep applying that, trying to apply that if formula. You listen to Fajin. Yeah. My first song that broke the internet, mm -hmm. when I didn't know anything about writing a hit song, Fajin was hooks. I'm a hooky person. I'll yeah, drop yeah. 10,000 hooks for you just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song just went back. So it's like, I've always had it. Right, okay. It's, it's, it was just natural. Mm -hmm. Case just said, okay. It's a you melody. You're not doing something wrong. Right, okay. And just made me see that, okay, continue what you're doing. So what's the plans for the, for the, for the future? What's happening? So when is your show here and all that good stuff? My show here is October. Okay. Um, what's next? It's just a different tenny than you've seen. You, you do acting? Yes. You also, what's happening with the acting? How's it? I'm, I'm still looking through scripts. Okay. You know, I'm very picky. Okay, right. I don't just like doing anything and everything. Could you do like on your YouTube, you have like the series where they follow you and all, and so you get to show your personality. Uh -huh. I think that's why people buy into you though, because you show your personality and you're not afraid to show your personality. Yeah. And I do think that nowadays, especially the young people, they, whoever they kind of fuck with, they want to know a little bit about who you are as a person. And I think you've got a good, a good balance with, with doing that. Yeah. But the acting, what type of role though? What's, the, what's your like ideal role? I don't think I have one. Maybe enjoyment. <laughs> Sitting down somewhere, talking like I would like to. I would like one where they give me like food, <laughs> lots of food. Act, eat. Oh man! <laughs> have you not? Have you done a umbuck? What they call them? Umbuck things. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The ones where they eat the crabs in front of the camera and they're like, oh my god. You get Mok me bang. On that. What are they called? <laughs> Mok bang. Can you get me on that free crab? Yeah, you got. No, you do your own one. I'll have to buy the crabs myself. Oh my gosh, I wish we'd done this earlier. I, oh, they, you can cook it. You make crabs? <laughs> yeah, and you do it. This is what you do. You get the lobster, then you get the thing, and they... Oh my God, I used to stay up late at night and watch all these videos. Really weird. I used to just be in bed, I like, want, watching... I to eat crocodile. Oh my God, I've had crocodile. Is it mad? It's... it's it, <laughs> oh my God, don't make me laugh. It's, it tastes like chicken and, uh, and fish. No, like chicken and fish mixed together. Yeah, there's some place in London called Shaka Zoo, they do it, called Crocodile, and I thought I'd taste it. I was asking Nick, Nick is one of my guys. Right. I was asking him, I said, have you ever had goat? I can't even remember the answer he gave me. But everyone's had but goat. But I was like, he was like, goat here, people don't really eat goat here. What, curry goat? Everyone eats goat. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, yeah. Oh yeah, curry so goat. why do you say people don't really eat goat? He probably doesn't even know he's eating curry goat. That's the probably that he probably just thinks yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like in my village in Nigeria, where, yeah, where my like my mother's yeah. from. All we eat is goods. What? Okay. What? Um, okay. Do you go to Nigerian restaurants here when you come? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I now like Middle Eastern food. Okay. I had it yesterday. It was so good. I go to one uh, Nigerian restaurant called Banky's Kitchen in Dalston. I think you should go to Enish. I go. I've been Enish. Enish is the best for me. Enish is Enish is nice. Okay, but. Uh, Banky's kitchen, auntie, that's what, when I go in, I say, hi, auntie, how are you? You're right, cool. And she's like, hi, how are you? And is <laughs> it is, but you see aunties, yeah? I feel like before you, next time you come, we're going to go and I'm going to take you there. I, I'm dedicated to Anish. It's like my barber. Yeah, I, I know, I, I know. Don't cheat. Fair enough. What about if I bring you some of the other one and then you can just taste it? You have to pay me to eat it. I will do that because okay. I want. I want you to. Let's eat, do it. I want you to experience it. I usually get amala. Amala. Yeah, I usually get that. Say. Amala. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Not ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ma. Ma. La. Amala. No. Oh. Ah. Ma. La. Let's go. Amala, ah, let's it, go. Eh, Amala, ah, Amala, ah, ah, let's go. Amala, ah, faster. Amala, ah, Amala, ah, Amala, ah, Amala. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Listen.
Listen, I, that's what I like that. I have pounded jam, but this is how I have my pounded jam, which is really, people don't say it's a bit weird. So, so you're Nigerian? No, I'm, I'm Jamaican. You're Nigerian. Oh, okay. I'm giving you Nigerian. Okay, thank you. Even though I can't say, so the, everyone don't come to me that you know I love Nigerian culture. Because I went to predominantly Nigerian church. Amala. Yeah, I do. So you eat goat? Yeah. You eat asu? Peped asu? Yeah, yeah, asu. Yeah, I eat it. So you're Nigerian? <laughs> How am um, Allah? That's the black one. <laughs> I know. How I know. Nigeria can you go? I go. I I eat it. I I really every time I eat it, I put it on my Insta. People are like, oh my gosh, Z, you are more Nigerian than me because even I don't eat that. Has I don't. Anybody give me a Nigerian name? No, I haven't. Okay, go on. Let's go. I'm going to have to give you. Oribo. 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 Ori. Ori. Ah, it's hard for you. <laughs> Let me just give you a nice dupe there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you a nice dupe, dupe. Thankful. Okay. Th what was the other one though? Orebo. Orebo. It means that my gift has come. Ooh. Like my blessings have come. Yes. Orebo. 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 Yeah. Was that good? Yes. Yes. Get it. You don't like dupe. I, 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 no, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that the first one that was what you gave me, and that yes. was the one that you felt from yes, your heart. Yes, yes, it was. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm, I need to go with that one. Yeah. I need to go with that one. But yeah, that's what I have. A pound of jam. This is what I have it with, yeah? A goosey. Huh? Right? Then I have yeah, it make, with... I'm not eating today. Please stop. A goosey. Oh, God. Red stew. Oh, my God. And Jesus. then I mix it with the okra. Ah. Uh. See, I said this to someone yesterday, and they were Please, like... Please, get me some chow. <laughs> This girl has made me hungry. <laughs> that is that is what I go for. I wow. love it. That's what I do. I love hearing people because like, I love Jamaican food right, as well. Right, yeah. And I know you're Jamaican. Yeah. So I love I love hearing people talk about Nigerian food. I love it. Just I want to know if we, we're going to be friends with this question I want to ask you. Okay. Ghana Jollof or Niger Jollof? Niger all the way. <laughs> I have to listen. Listen, I have to. I ha It's just. It's. I. I. I just don't think it bangs the same. So what my friends and I, I have Sierra Leone and Senegalese friends. Okay. Well. And when my Ghanaian friends, because I went to school in America, so I went to school with a whole bunch of people. I went to school with somebody from Cambodia. Right, right, right. Yo, it's a mix of people. So we we're arguing. It was me and my Ghanaian friend. And then my Sierra Leonean friend over there said, well, Sierra Leone Jollof is better. I was like, who called you? You're not, <laughs> you're not even in the mix. You're not, if, you're not in the conversation. Shut up there. Oh, no, but I went to a restaurant the other day, and I can't, oh, my God. It's, it, I can't remember where it was from, but they, the Jollof was actually... Sierra out. Leone? No. It wasn't, no. It wasn't. I think Sierra Leone has good food, but I not just the Jollof. I haven't tasted not a lot of Sierra Leone food, if I'm being honest with you. But I would say out of Ghanaian and Nigerian, I always go for Nigerian jollof. I just don't feel like Ghanaian jollof tastes like jollof. No, it just tastes like rice and tomato. But I feel like I'm going to get rinsed now in the comments for this. No, what if my husband, we love them. What if, what if my husband's Ghanaian and he's watching this now and he thinks, well, this is Don't not... you want someone to love you for you? This is true. Then if he doesn't... I said what he, I said, If he doesn't okay? come to you, then it's not for you. It, that's what I'm saying. Black queen. Yes. Have you got any? Have you got any questions for me? How long? How, how long? Was it? Oh, okay. my only question for you. Go. On. What gives you the confidence that you have? What makes you sit down with somebody that has told you that they have a gun, and you can still be like, la 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 la. la. <laughs> I don't know. I just maybe like yourself, a bit like yourself. Wait, what's what? When were you born? <laughs> when were you born? In the night. No, no, like what's the, what month? Oh, December. Oh, so what you like, Sagittarius? Capricorn. Oh, I don't really know much about it. I was going to say, I thought you was like a Leo, because you was giving me Leo vibes. Yeah? Yeah. What, what month is Leo? July. I'm a Leo. Oh. But I was thinking maybe because cause I feel like we get along quite well, that it's nice flow of energy here. So I was thinking maybe it's because you're a Leo and I would be like, oh, okay, it makes sense. I'm Capricorn. But, oh, okay, right. Um, what I just de definitely digressed. Um, I think what it was is, I think I've always just been that person. I've always, at school, I was always yapping my gums. I always wanted to say, had, had to say the last thing. My mum always says in arguments, I have to get the last word out. So nothing really phases me too tough. Do you get what I mean? 
obviously I get emotional. People, I, I think people also think I'm not an emotional person. I, I'm highly emotional. But um, yeah, I just, I just want to ask questions. Do you get what I mean? And I want to have conversations with people and I kind of want to get into people's heads. So like when artists come on, like yourself, I kind of just want to know a bit about you and how you think and why you think like that and how you got to think like that. Oh, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Instead of the generic questions like, why did you name your album that? Mm. Do you get what I mean? Because you'll do, even for the artists, if you come on the show, I want it to be an experience for you. You've done so many interviews, press interviews, where it's like, oh, tell us this. Exactly, see, so you, you've done- What year did you start the music? <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, okay. If you want to know about that, you, there's another interview that you can watch. But when you come on here, I want you to be able to just talk freely about so many different things because, that's the interviews that I enjoyed watching when I was growing up. Do you get what I mean? I enjoyed watching MTV, like, the day in the life of Aaliyah, because you got to see her in her natural habitat instead of her in front of a camera performing. Do you get what I mean? So well, I've I think, I think like what that. it also is, I might be wrong, for you, I think it's got, it's just knowing who you are. Yeah. And people sometimes mistake that with being proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm confident. I know who I am. I know what I accept and what I don't. Yeah. I'm sorry that you don't know that about yourself, but I'm not about to accept nonsense. Mm. If I don't like it, best believe I'm speaking up. If I like it, I'll say thank you and I appreciate it. If I feel uncomfortable, I'm not going to harass you, but I'm just going to ask you kindly. I'm not happy about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one last question. Who's your favorite artist right now? If you don't say me, I'm walking out of the set. Well, obviously, I'm just joking. obviously. But do you know who but I really, right now. But do you know who I actually really am enjoying at the moment? Mm. Thames. Yes. I really do enjoy her. I really, really enjoy listening to I her. Think she's going to get a Grammy very soon. Do you think so? Yes. Yeah. Her talent is it's, exceptional. It's so ah. Oh. Like again, do you know what? I just like to hear the. Maybe there's something like wrong with me or something. But I like to hear emotions i mm. like to hear the pain or the soul the, that's it i like to hear the soul in somebody's voice and she gives me that 100 percent. and i'm like old school r&b i live i live i love and live for old school r&b mm. that's my thing clap for yourself clap for you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for thank you, thank you for thank sitting you, down you. and having a chat with me it's been it's been it's gone quick, oh my gosh, it's gone very quick. I know, but I've had fun. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for sitting down with me. So guys. Time for some music. Yes, guys, and some, um, al Amala. Huh? Is that Amala here? <laughs> Is that Amala here? <laughs> no, I was oh. Like, oh, sorry, I was trying to say that. I was you about might... to be like, I'm having some. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends. We out. Okay.